So over the next few months, I want to share with you my self-realization process of deciding whether or not to replace my breast implants. And my intention in sharing this with you is to expose the layers of energetic contraction and expansion as I move through this important decision-making process. You will also recognize tools that you might use along your self-discovery path. Video one, the evolution of form and thought through energy process. The truth is, I have always felt a great deal of pressure to have answers immediately. Uh, when I was in school, it was a huge challenge for me. I would have ideas and want to share them, but I would just keep shut. <laughs> I was afraid of being criticized or ridiculed. And so that process really evolved as I got older until I finally realized that when I experience that pressure and that unclear feeling within me and I'm able to recognize it, then I'm way better off taking my time making the decision. And that process is not a logical one. It's not logical. I'm not a logical person. <laughs> I feel things and then I know things and that's just how I work and I'm surrendering to that now that I'm older. <laughs> Thank God I'm older. As I move through this really important process, I have been documenting what I've been going through, these expansions and contractions and I wanted to share them with you and I wanted to also just lay down first out of the gate how energy moves and how it informs our body. So this is a three-step process of how energy moves and informs our system. First, let me say, energy is always moving. And how it moves is expansion and contraction. Expansion and contraction. And it can be, you know, two steps out, and one step back in, or it can be, you know, one step out and three steps in. Wherever we're at is how it's moving. Because there is this idea that the solutions and answers to life's questions live outside of the self. Like our friends, our family, our boss, the churches, doctors, teachers, our government. Everybody knows the best for us. I am here to say it doesn't have to be that way anymore. And in my experience, everything worth knowing is inside of me. Okay, so number two, two, two. When we ask a question of our soul, we are always guided to an answer or we come to a new understanding. So basically what we are thinking in any moment, whether it's an idea, person, place, or thing, whether it's right here in the room with you, or whether it is a thousand million miles away, we are literally touching it. So whatever we think of, we are touching energetically. Number three, how connected we are when asking the question determines our connectivity to the information that we desire. Sometimes answers are clear and move us into a new place right away or they pop into our consciousness for a brief moment and disappear so fast that we cannot sustain or digest the information. And other times they are fragments of a bigger and still unfolding solution, which brings up new questions. And now the cycle begins again. So when you ask a question of your human energy system, know that the answers are within and around you. Stop, look, and listen. It is all here for you. As we move forward, it is my hope that you find support in these intimate sharings. What's up next? The death and rebirth 
of my breasts. See you next time.